From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everyone, Homa and Katie here with your top stories today. Yeah, but first though, we need to start with your weather because it's cold, snowy, and messy out all there. All of it, all of it. And it's going to be this way for the morning into the middle part of the day, things do start to improve, but we stay cold for the next couple of days also. Check this out. We've got more lake effect snow upstream. Uh, not a whole lot once we get into the evening hours or the second half of the day, but for the first half of the day, still going to be tracking this out. Numbers inland, definitely cold along the lake shore. We've got 20s. We'll make it back into the 20s if you're not already there. If you are in the 20s through the day today, you kind of hold steady with that north wind. The good news is winds are about 10 to 15 this morning with the lake effect snow. They're about 5 to 10, if not less than that this evening. So I've got less snow in the forecast, less wind in the forecast until tomorrow. We will pick up another band. One more shot at lake effect snow tomorrow. Then we can thaw things out for the rest of the week. Some good news, bad news here when it comes to the flu. Activity is down for the second week in a row here, but doctors say we could be in for another round of the flu. Doctors say they're concerned this next wave of the flu could be dangerous as well with type A and type B. They say it's still not too late to get the flu shot if you want one. So far, 170 people in the Cleveland metro area have died from flu-related illnesses. For the third time in just the last few months, Chapel Hill Mall in Akron has narrowly avoided having its power shot off. The bill was paid Friday ahead of today's deadline, but Summit County has already started foreclosing on the property for back taxes. According to the Akron Beacon Journal, the owner is looking at a few options. One is to sell the mall or find a partner to redevelop the property. He could also bring in non-retail businesses like a call center. They serve Cleveland tirelessly, working to improve their communities. Often, they do it without recognition or praise, but today, that'll change. The Cleveland Public Library is honoring 150 unsung heroes. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley caught up with a few of them. I'm a lot of things to a lot of people. Robert Gatewood is among the Cleveland Public Library's unsung heroes, being honored on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The only thing that stops us typically is access and belief. If you believe, and then you have access to the tools you need, you pretty much can accomplish anything you want. A message Robert passes to neighbors in the Collinwood community, where he created Gatewood Workshare to serve. The office space in Collinwood became whatever folks needed to be. The impact seems to be bigger, faster than I expected. Robert opened the space in 2017. Since then, several businesses have opened, and now he plans for more growth that may or may not include his current location, but we'll focus on one goal. Make the race even. Make the race even for everybody and then let's see what happens. Another person with a goal, Dan Lehman. Well, our trees have been dying, our trees are getting older, and our trees are being cut down. He's trying to replace what's been lost. Well, they provide the oxygen that we breathe, they provide shade. Dan says he's been planting trees across town for the last six years. Our tree canopy is just under 20%. He told me it will take planting 50,000 trees over the next 20 years to double that. And it can get expensive. Now, the city of Cleveland is going to finance $1 million a year for trees over the next 10 years. Frank Wiley, News 5. Today's event is this afternoon at John Hayes High School. The program is part of the 35th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Ceremony. Hey, make sure you check back later today for another update. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.